Okay, so this is a follow-on from the previous video from this week about uh, deleting things. So this time I'm going to look at what happens when you delete items inside Airtable. Uh, and you can see that there are a number of levels in terms of the items that you delete. In the worst case scenario, uh, if you happen to delete an entire base, uh, then it will appear here in the trash icon, icon on the left-hand side. And thankfully, uh, I haven't accidentally deleted any uh, bases from my account in the last seven days. Um, but just in case someone makes uh, you know, a, a serious mistake, they will end up here. So uh, at the worst, as long as you don't leave it for more than a week, uh, your bases will be here and you can restore them. When the base is here, uh, there's a little icon that says restore and you can restore the entire base. What's probably more likely is that you will delete uh, a record and this didn't used to work uh, in the same way. Uh, but here, uh, you used to be able to press the history button uh, and go into trash and then look at your trash from here. But as you can see, uh, with the functionality changes in Airtable, it's now moved. And you'll see that there is now a trash icon next to the uh, history icon here. So if you click on this trash can, the changes in Airtable now allow you to uh, restore items uh, that have been deleted in the last seven days. So again, it's not a perfect solution, um, but again, you can see the items that I have deleted. Uh, these are individual rows, individual records. Uh, I had a little bit of a tidy up earlier in the week. And then you can just, again, click on this restore link here, and it will put the data back into the records. So that's it. That's just a quick summary of the two areas that you can recover your deleted or trashed items from Airtable.